Hey everybody, I'm Tony Fleming from Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Thanks for joining me on today's Italian classic video. No, we're not going to make pasta. Uh, no, we're not going to make linguine with clam sauce. Who doesn't love linguine with clam sauce? Or a pizza? We're actually going to talk Italian cars today. We're going to talk Italian classic cars. And we're going to talk about why, why they might be a good investment. All right, let's talk about that for a second. So for instance, these right here, these Fulvias, uh, are a spectacular car. If you've never owned one, driven one, been in one, they are, they are so well crafted, they drive so well, they won numerous races, rallies, things like that, and there's a reason why. As we get into this car, we're going to see all of the things that make it, uh, make it so, so great. Forget the fact that it's great looking, and right? What I like to do a lot of times is because people say, oh, Tone, that's a great looking car, right? And I say, you know what? You're absolutely right. But a lot of times people don't know why it's a great looking car. We should point that out. We're going to walk around. We're going to look at some of the styling. Uh, and see the, the Lancia brand just to see where it's come to and, and how it got to this place. All right, so this is a beautifully restored uh, example of this car. Grigio Epsom, uh, the gray. But what we do here is we add some things to it that you can change if you don't like them, which is really cool, right? So think about this. We add the Chromadora wheels right here and the stripe uh, to give it a little bit more footprint. This car would have come with painted wheels and stainless hubcaps. Uh, which we probably have a set of here. If you wanted to go back to that, we can do that for you. And the stripe is a decal that we have custom made for the car. It peels off if you don't like it. So if you want to return it back to its original form, that's great. I think the touches look really nice and it adds a little bit of muscle to a car that's already kind of uh, a cool car to begin with. This mug in the front, fabulous. The last thing I like to talk about is paint and that's important because while a car mechanically, this car here is all restored. If it wasn't beautiful, it's a tough car to own and drive and buy, right? So uh, I say to people like, let's look at the quality of paint here in a video, not such a pictures. In the pictures, you can make pictures look whatever they want, right? With AI and all the technologies out there, but in video, right, it is what it is. So I say to you this, here's a paint lesson for you. Don't look at the paint. Look at what's in the paint, meaning look at the ceiling, the lights, the air conditioning system up there. Look at these letters that are in the paint so you can see the real quality of paint. And that's how you know. When things are crisp and you can see all that, that's great. When they're foggy, right, that means the paint is not as shiny as you want it to be. So let's go ahead and get that started. So check that out. You can read every letter there. It's nice and crisp. And see the ceiling, see the lights, right? All of this stainless is new, replated, polished, detailed, right, ready to go to a show. All right, so I like to show under the hood of these because this is one of the greatest engine designs ever. If you look at this, this is a four-cylinder. It looks like a two-cylinder for a reason. For instance, the Bentley W12, right? That is also uh, done this way too, where the cylinders, instead of being in a row, are staggered next to each other. It allows the engine to be more compact. It fits in here better. The same thing too. If you ever look at a Bentley, the Bentley's front end is super short, and it's super short because the engine is so compact because the cylinders are staggered in there. Twin side draft carburetors in here, all rebuilt, upgraded braking system right there. Disc brakes on this car, right? We're talking 1965, a lot of cars didn't have that back then, but this does. Uh, aluminum head, uh, all detailed, new radiator, fuel system, uh, hinges, even this cool data plate is still there. This is the original sound deadening that came from the factory circa 1965. This is a beautiful car. It's a car that you can go to a car show. It's got all the decals in place and just looks really nice when you open the hood. Even if you don't want to go to a car show, you might want to open this once in a while and take a peek, and it really is nice to look at. All right, so back to styling, right? This is Italian stuff, like this little piece here, right? The way the taillights are staggered, the colors that are in there, the tag light here instead of on the back so it doesn't look cluttered. Still a great piece of script that's there, right? And underneath is all detailed, painted, this is really nice. I mean, really nice. All right. Okay, a functional trunk. Works the way it's supposed to. That latch like that. Uh, this has a beautiful trunk mat that's custom made for this car. This is the original style wheel with a spare tire that's in here. Okay. Uh, all painted and detailed in there. It has a rubber mat on top of, well, sorry, this has a carpeted custom mat on top of the factory rubber mat on top of the trunk. Now you know this person was serious about taking care of their car. They spent the time to paint all of this stuff in here, new seals, weather strips, stuff like that. And the way to close the trunk is you lift it up like that, and that's how it works. All right, so you're walking up to your cool Italian car, right? Going, man, that this is a great car. And I've asked you to go ahead and drive this to work on a Friday, right? And you're going to get in that car, you're going to call whoever it is, right? And here's what you're going to tell them.
you're going to say, you know, I'm on the way home. I see you in a little bit and you turn off the feed. No, no Facebook, no Instagram, no boss feed, no feed of all the noise that's out there. And you get in your cool Italian car, right? And you get in your cool Italian car and you get it ready and you click it into its first gear. And you're like, man, this thing is awesome. This is awesome. This interior, look at this. This is 1965 that this has been done. It's got a rear seat back here for people. Um, and what I love so much about it is the stock original radio is still there, right? So what we can do for you is if you want, is we can hide a modern stereo system in there. That way you can stream the music uh, from your phone and you keep the dash kind of looking stock. It's got these great rocker switches in here for the wipers. It's just like style, man. Like this, regular cars don't have it. They have knobs and stuff like that. This has it. These gauges all done so beautifully. Uh, Veglia gauges, 180 kilometer an hour speedometer, um, 7,000 RPM tack. This is showing 5,982 miles on it since it was restored, which is pretty cool when you think about it. And here's a good sign. This has not only carpet, mat here this has another mat on top of it on top of the factory rubber uh carpeting that came from the factory there so there's three sets of mats in this car you got to know that the person who who had this car loved it and the way to start it a lot of people don't know the way to start it is they go to turn the key on and nothing happens you push the key in and that's how you start it all right so we close up this video let's run down some stuff because i want you to know uh, what it takes to restore a car if you don't know that. If you've never restored a car, imagine a minimum of two years if you could find somebody to work on it tomorrow, right? And the likelihood of that happening is pretty slim. It is in between fifty dollars and $100,000 right now to restore any car, right? These are going to be more expensive to restore because there's less of them. There's less craftsmen that know how to do these cars. This is the only way to buy a car. And those numbers that I gave you, by the way, don't include the price of the car that you need to restore. This is the only way to buy a car, a car that's restored, ready to enjoy this weekend and go for a ride. And not to mention great looking, great driving, good power, awesome handling because it's a, an Italian sports car. At the end of the day, that's what it is. Anyway, call us 301-816-1000. We'll tell you all about this, uh, this Lancia, if I'm saying it properly, so I don't butcher the Italian. Oh, I hate when I do that. And uh, if you don't mind, hit the share button down there, get our message out. It helps us out a lot, and I really appreciate that. Hit the like button too and subscribe to the channel. We got new stuff coming out all the time and I'll see you on the test drive. I always like to go through the startup process of this because it's so cool, right? When you go to turn the key, right? Nothing happens. People are like, oh man, my battery, whatever. That's not how it works. Once you do, push that in. That's so great. You'll hear the gear whine in there. That's the gear set that drives the camshafts. I mean, these engines were built for serious racing and serious power. Check out that exhaust note. We can even add a little pipe back here. Okay, so we're off and you asked me, Doll, what's it like to drive an Italian classic sports car? And I say, it's a lot, a lot of fun. That's amazing. It is so beautiful to hear. Listen to this car, man. It's like rattle free. Handles so nicely. This is tight. You know, I don't get to drive it. It's a lot of time. This is the first time I'm driving this car. Uh, when I do these videos, that's is a great part of the job. I forget about that part, right? And oh my God, I didn't get to drive these cars. I didn't get early. I get to drive these cars. So I have to tell you, I just go to do here. It's just, it's just so support. I love the lines of that motor, man. The motor is looking great, that dude. But maybe you can go around one point two later and it's got one how to do some for the that plus of flight you need. Great. Oh, so with a smile I can add one. Boy, that sure that makes the day much better. I have to get it. Fine. All right, so, uh, 1965, we ride around, this could be the back road of the Bentley, and here we are at the end of our ride. All right, we're back on the road, wind up with gears. 
Um, and, you know, it's under the straw. I know I keep talking about it, but this is a, you know, a six-year-old car. And it just goes around the corner. I'm sorry, it goes through the car box with water smooth. And to the same end, you see. Very pretty, like. Notice we have a bell and bond texting, Facebooking, nothing. We have gone through a dog.